Hey guys, and welcome to Social Studies. Just like in our last lesson, I'm going to have the lesson on the video, and then I'm going to have some questions for you to answer in a form. Then I'm going to have some slides that you do not have to read. It's the, as long as you watch the video, it's going to be the same slides, but you do have them if you want them. Okay, so we talked about last time about how the United States entered World War II. We talked about how Hitler got into World War II for lots of different reasons. He wanted more land, he thought he wanted to run the countries different than the other people. He didn't like other people besides Germany. He only liked German culture and German people. He was very mean to people who are not German, especially the Jews, uh, the people who are descendants of Abraham. We also talked about how Germany and Italy and Japan were all friends. When you're friends during a war, you're all fighting together. Those are called allies. Well, at the beginning of the war in 1939, the United States was not in the war. We didn't want to fight on it, and you guys gave some great reasons why the United States was not in the war. But then Japan came to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, and bombed it, which got us in the war. So today, we are going to be talking about during the war, and some we're going to be talking about some of the battles and some of the heroes of the war. And I wanted to start off with some heroes that most people might not think of the war, some heroes who weren't soldiers, and those were a lot of the nurses during World War II. A lot of people during World War a lot of nurses during World War II volunteered and helped out. Um and then some of them their job was to help out soldiers, like these nurses down here. This was a poster getting people to join the Red Cross. The Red Cross was a big part helping soldiers during World War II, just like Claire Barton used the Red Cross to help soldiers after the Civil War. The Red Cross was a big part, not only in America, but also with a lot of our allies, like England, helping out the soldiers. So there's a lot of nurses in the Red Cross that helped out the soldiers. Well, the next group of heroes I want to talk about were soldiers, and these men were absolutely incredible. They were called the Tuskegee Airmen. You see, during World War II, this was before Martin Luther King Jr. and Ruby Bridges and all those heroes we've talked about, and African Americans were still kept separate from white people. But there's one group of African Americans who are ready to fight in the war. There's a lot of people who said they couldn't fight in the war, but these men were going to anyway. They were trained in Tuskegee, Alabama. So they were trained right here in Alabama. And they were the first African American men to fly airplanes as part of the US Army Air Corps. They didn't they weren't only they weren't only pilots, but they were amazing airmen. In fact, they were some of the best compared to a lot of the other airmen they had one of the best records and they won many awards and they were heroes you can see a picture right here of a lot of the tuskegee airmen with one of their airplanes and then right here you can see a picture of mr charles mccree who is still alive today and one of the few tuskegee airmen who were still alive so the tuskegee airmen were some heroes who fought hard in the war um to against Hitler and Japan and everyone else who was trying to attack our freedom. Well, the war continued for several years. One of the countries that Hitler had taken over was France, which is a country in Europe. So after many years of fighting, it was time for the United States allies, countries like the US, England, and Canada, decided to come up with a huge plan to attack France. So first we began being a little sneaky. We started we trying to drop hints like, oh, we're going to attack you at this place. So Germany would be compare, prepared for an attack at one place. But then we went to another place. The beach is in a place called Normandy in France. And we got into the ocean and we attacked the Germans on those beaches. Many, many of our soldiers died there, but we kept fighting and we kept fighting and we kept fighting until finally we won the battle. That is what we call D-Day. It was June 6, 1944. If you ever hear someone talk about D-Day, that was it. It was the battle in France, remember, to help. that was the first part to help us win the war. Right here you can see some pictures of some of the soldiers who fought in D-Day. And uh, then, right here, you can see where D-Day took place. Here's a map of Europe. That's France, this big country. And so they 
they were in the ocean right under England right here and came onto the beach on land. You can see a picture right here of them in a boat coming onto the beach on land. That was a huge victory. And it was the first time it looked like we we're going to win the war. We fought D-Day in France. Okay. Well, first we had D-Day and then we had Iwa Jima. So Iwa Jima was an island off of Japan. And remember, Japan was the one who had first attacked us at Pearl Harbor. And so as the war was coming to an end, we decided we were going to attack the island of Iwa Jima to try to um, fight the Japanese for the war. And so February 19th, 1945, we started fighting in Iwa Jima. Iwo Jima was a hard battle. We lost many, many men. There's a famous photo, you can see it on the right, of several of our soldiers lifting up the flag at Iwo Jima after the fighting. Because when you fight and you start to win the war, you put the flag there. But even after we lifted the flag, there was a lot of fighting. And after fighting for five weeks, the United States won the island. Here's a picture. So you see Japan's right here off of Asia. And there's the tiny island right here where my red dot is and that is Iwa Jima. So Iwa Jima was when we fought, it was a tiny little island where that famous photo was taken of the men raising the flag that we fought the Japanese. So those are the topics we're talking about today. Iwa Jima, D-Day which happened in France on the beaches, the Tuskegee Airmen, who were heroes in airplanes, the first African Americans to do so, and then the Red Cross, who were nurses who helped out in the war. So, next time we're going to be talking about the end of World War II and how that came about and how we won the war. Uh, but go ahead and click on this and answer the questions about the battles of World War II. Have a great day, guys. Bye!